course, there was also political backlash, uh, as we heard uh, to Inamar ben Vier's visit, including within the government, as Jonathan Regev reported earlier, these divisions within the coalition had Knesset member Moshe Gafni, leader of the Degel HaTorah faction in the ultra-Orthodox United Torah Judaism list, calling on, on social media ben Vier's visit a, quote, provocation in front of the whole world, but also a violation of Jewish religious law, or halacha. Ben Gvir responded by telling Gaffney that a party like Dega La Torre that does not want to officially serve in the government should find it, quote, inappropriate to preach morals. And I think, Owen, we need to give some context here as to why two religious Jews are in disagreement about visiting the most sacred spot in all of Judaism. That's right, Kyle. Two Jews, three opinions, as we always say. And of course, the Temple Mount, a source of controversy and conflict, not just between Jews and Muslims, but as we're learning, as we're seeing, between Jews and Jews. What's the debate? What's the argument? Traditionally, the rabbi, rabbis held for centuries with the position that the ultra-Orthodox parties are putting forward, right? And you heard Moshe Gaffney talk about Jews are not allowed to go on the mount. Why? It has to do with laws of purity and the lack of understanding of exactly where certain parts of the second temple, the first temple for that matter, were. And therefore, as an abundance of caution, Jews are not allowed to go or were traditionally thought to be allowed to go onto the mount at all. On the other hand, you have Ben Gvir and the rabbis that he follows, affiliated with the religious Zionism stream of Ben Gvir, of Betzal Smotrich, and others who do allow Jews, Jews to visit at least parts of the mount, although not all of it, again, making an allowance, saying that certain parts are not forbidden for Jews to visit because of the purity rules or whatever. But Kalev, of course, this is not just a debate about purity laws, right? There, the purity rules and the debate about that is a proxy for something else, and that's a debate of worldviews, right? The ultra-Orthodox worldview, seeing modernity as incompatible with Judaism, modernity, the Jewish state as a tool of modernity being incompatible with Judaism, the presence on the Temple Mount, the wanting and the belief that the state of Israel could be the beginning, again, I want to be very careful with what I say, but the beginning of a long-term process for the rebuilding of the Temple somehow on the Mount, which is how religious Zionists see it, of course, religious Zionism has a very different view of these, seeing modernity as compatible with Judaism, therefore a Jewish state is compatible with Judaism, and leading in recent decades to a very different outlook about what the state means in terms of the messianic trajectory of Jewish history, including the rebuilding of the temple, which is why it is so important to people in that stream. So again, this debate about purity, this debate about entering the Temple Mount, is a proxy for this debate, this deep debate of worldviews between the two parts, Ben Gvir at one extreme, seeing it as important and as a commandment to go up on the mount, Moshe Gaffney and the other ultradox uh, luminaries, seeing it as a very different view and is forbidden to Jews to go on the map, the mount. At any rate, Kalev, both sides agree it's important to note the Temple Mount is the holiest site in Judaism. The only debate is about whether Jews can go on to it.